All right, Magic and Cavs game two. Not ashamed to admit that I was wrong about a couple things. One, I thought that the Magic would bounce back in game two and they would take this game. Also, I was starting to doubt Donovan Mitchell's prowess and I have to say, my bad big homie. He put on a clinic and he was a single best player in this entire game. Everything that happened for the Cavs went through him. The Wagner brothers tried to do their own thing and they almost held it together long enough for the Magic to actually have a chance, but you never really got the sense that the Magic were going to get back into this game. It did end up being like a blowout score at the end, but the truth of the matter is this game was really floating anywhere between 10 to 12 points for most of it and then at the end the Cavs just sort of did what they had to do and they closed the game out. I thought there was some hope for the Magic in this series, and maybe there still is because you have to go back to Orlando, so we'll see what happens, but the way they shot and performed in these first two games, I don't know if there's much left. Again, they gotta get home. This is their first time really in the playoffs, and with young teams, with any young team, they tend to perform better at home than they do on the road. So I expect them to pick things up a little bit and at least get a game or two out of this. This is not one that I thought would be a sweep, but Cavaliers made it look very sweep-like in the first two games. Oh, Palo, Palo Alto, uh, he's really good as well. Um, I think he needs to be a little bit more aggressive. There's a lot of times where I've been talking about youthful players being too aggressive, but for him, I think he needs to be a little bit more aggressive and sort of take games over, but that'll come with time. We'll see what happens in Orlando.